Do you like energy? Well, so do I. <laughs> Every single device that we use uses a bunch of energy. But we're running out. What can we do? We can't use fossil fuels forever. We need a better, cleaner, safer, and reliable energy source. We have different types of renewables, such as wind, hydro, and solar. But we even have nuclear, which isn't technically renewable, but it's really good. Introducing nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion can solve all our problems. So what is nuclear fusion? Well, unlike nuclear fission, where we take a heavy isotope of radioactive material, such as uranium, and we split it out, we take nuclear fusion, which is the opposite, where we take a very light isotope, such as hydrogen, in our case deuterium and tritium, and merge them together to create helium-4 and energy. It creates a lot more energy than any other type of nuclear fusion, however, it's a lot more complicated to get going. It's the same type of nuclear fusion that we have going on in the sun. And if you can imagine, if we could create the sun on Earth, we'd have a heck of our energy. Now, about the ethics of nuclear fusion, there's many good points and many, many bad points. First problem with nuclear fusion is the price to get it started. Now, this means only first world countries will be able to afford nuclear fusion. Now, what does this mean for third world countries? This can also be another problem because the amount of money that we need to invest into nuclear fusion, we're talking orders of hundreds of billions of dollars that could be spent elsewhere on other types of energy, but also on social infrastructure. Fear not, this doesn't mean the end of nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is humanity's best chance at solving our biggest problem on hands, the energy crisis. Nuclear fusion is a safe, clean, reliable energy source that will provide us with plenty of energy for years and decades and centuries to come. To that, I raise my glass too. You may be wondering, why is it taking so long? Why can't we not get nuclear fusion tomorrow? We are such an advanced society, which is an advanced civilization. We should be able to. But let's talk more about that. Now you may be wondering, when will we see nuclear fusion in our lives? To answer that question, there's been many different researches kind of approximating the timeline, which is between 20 to 30 years. So we could see nuclear fusion reactors in our lifetime. We just need to do more research and more studies so we can actually contain the heat inside the reactor and achieve nuclear fusion. We need to continue our investment in nuclear fusion as it's very important. Now, the, although there are many cons with investing in nuclear fusion, such as putting energy and resources into other sources of production, such as wind, solar, or hydro, the pros highly outweigh the con. The thought of having infinite amount of, not necessarily infinite, but very vast amounts of energy for a very, very low cost and extremely safe is what we need to be looking forward to. Thank you.